Hello my friends, how are you doing? Today I will answer the question if you should get Affinity Designer and Affinity Publisher next to Affinity Photo. And also at the end of the video, I will show you a really cool deal from Lumina that is going on right now. Let's get started. My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer and I want to thank all of my patrons who support me and make these videos possible. So most of you already know Affinity Photo. I have done hundreds of videos about that, showing you how that works and the amazing things you can do with that really cool software. But there is other tools, of course, Affinity Designer, Affinity Publisher. Do you need them? What do they actually do? Most people are interested in Affinity Designer because they think it's a design program, so they need it to make flyers and things like that. But actually, that name is a little bit misleading because, for example, Adobe phrases it better, calling it Illustrator, because this is what it's actually doing. And what you do with that is mostly vector art and logos and UI designs, icons, stuff like that is based on vector. So when you go to the designer website, you see a lot of examples and these examples show you what the software is mainly meant to do. And you can see here, you have this nice vector illustration design. This is also vector. It looks a little bit 3D, but it's vector. This is also vector art here. Down here is another thing. By the way, this looks 3D, but the software does not do any 3D stuff. This is 2D in a kind of isometric style here. The interesting thing here is you can switch between vector only, which is this one, and then vector and raster, as they call it here. So they have also applied some uh, pixel layers, pixel overlays to give you these nice textures. When you look here, for example, at the stone here, now it's very uniform. And then you have these little grunge specks in here, which makes it look cooler. But this is what Affinity Designer is made for. When you want to do flyers and posters and things like that, Affinity Photo is perfect for that. You can do everything you need in Affinity Photo and export it for print on your home printer, but also on the press when you want to send it to a company. And also you can see here from the examples that they mostly show these kind of composites here that you're doing. And you can also do photo adjustments, stuff like that. But you can also do these kind of flyer designs. So that's what it's good for. And then we have also Publisher. Now, Publisher is mainly a layout program, and this is actually nicely described here in this little text. It says for books, magazines, marketing materials, social media templates, well, not sure. Yeah, maybe. The reason maybe because you want to use this for social media templates is because you can have different sizes in the same document and make the workflow a little bit faster. Um, but you can do social media. I do all of my social media stuff in Affinity Photo because it has all the tools and you can adjust photos and stuff like that. So mainly publisher, what it's doing is when you have all the assets ready and edited, you bring them together to a nice layout in publisher. So after you've edited all this stuff, after you've created the illustrations, edited the photos, created the composites, all these kind of things, you pull them together into publisher and there you make a nice layout for like, as you can see here, magazine stuff like that. That. Let's go here to the website where we can, you can see all these kind of things here. Now, the reason why they would do that kind of stuff here in Publisher, not in Affinity Photo, is because you can have all these kind of different formats in one document and that makes it easier to overlook the whole project and synchronize all the colors and the fonts and the distances between I don't know, the, the letter stuff like that. You know what I mean? So you have more control over the whole project. So for that reason, that is good. And then you have these magazine laid out. You can also do PDFs. Not everything is printed anymore, as you know. It might also maybe help you with web design. Not sure if it's made for that, but um, this is mainly what it's made for. So if you're going to do stuff like that, it might be helpful. To be honest, uh, I have done design for my customers like this for years, just with back in the day with Photoshop and then afterwards with Affinity Photo and I was fine with that. I didn't need a um, publisher for that and I'm, I didn't ever do layout like magazine stuff because I'm just not interested in these kind of things. You need to design for yourself if you want to have that. Also the prices are so low that if you want to play around with that and dive deeper into that, get the software, support the studio who creates the software. That's always good. Especially designer, you can do a lot of cool stuff in there. So 
If you like to play around with creative ideas, this might be really cool. By the way, designer is a vector program. So digital painting is not what you do with that. You can paint in vector, but it's not usually done like that. Let's go to the deal from Luminar that I wanted to show you. I found that as an ad on Facebook. So this is why I show it to you. I'm not affiliated with that. I'm not earning anything from showing that to you. I just thought because some of my users use Luminar, this might be great. Even if you already have this, I want to explain also a little bit how that works. So this is Humble Bundle and they put together bundles of software and overlays and sometimes games or books or stuff like that. And then you pay a very, very low price. Now you see up here, it says bundles filter. So if you want to get everything, you have to pay at least, you can also pay more, but you have to pay at least 22 euros and 18 cents. And then if you have the five bundle, you pay this price, which is basically the same. It's kind of strange. You get a lot less for almost the same price. And the one bundle is here. You get that for one buck, you get photo more. If you already have the other stuff, maybe that is good. I often buy the $1 thing, especially with eBooks and stuff, because it's just enough for me. I'm not going to read 50 eBooks, but I can read five, you know, so that's good. And the way why they ask also for more money is because part of the money also goes to charity. So you can support good causes while saving a lot of money. Let's have a quick look at this. So you get uh, Luminar Aurora here, then you get Luminar AI, then you get a lot of these template packs for Luminar software, and then you also get Luminar 4 and more of these uh, templates. Also LUTs here, you see a little bit of LUTs also. And then you also get Photo Lemur, all of that for 22 euros and 18 cents. That is a steal. Go for that if you don't have the software already. And like I said, I'm not affiliated. I'm just showing this to you because I know a lot of you are interested or already have part of the software. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed that video and see you soon. Bye. <music>